In this video, we're going to discuss the exclamation point important rule in CSS. Now, CSS can get very, very complicated at times, especially if you have multiple style sheets and maybe you have JavaScript that's generating CSS. It can be very difficult to tell where a particular HTML element is being updated in terms of the selector. Where is it coming from? And that is where the exclamation point important rule comes into play in CSS. I like to call it the nuclear option because it will literally override every other CSS rule that you have created for that particular element. And wherever you place that important rule, again, it will take priority over everything. Now, we're just going to do a simple version here just to show how it works. But in reality, the use case for this is a situation, like I said, in which you have multiple style sheets, you have literally hundreds of lines of CSS code and you're not sure where the HTML element is being updated. And if you need to make a quick change and you need to get something working, that's why the important rule in CSS is very nice. Now you can see here I've created a simple class and a simple ID and we're going to use those in our CSS style sheet over here. So here's where I have the class selector, here's the ID selector, and you can see here I have a type selector for the paragraph as well. Now the way this works in CSS is the most specific rule will take priority. So the type selector is always the least specific. So we shouldn't see the color green anywhere. And the paragraph class selectors are more specific. So they should take precedence over the type selector. So the color of the first paragraph should turn blue because this class selector is more specific than the type selector. And it's the same situation for the ID selector. The second paragraph where we had the ID should turn to blue. So let's go ahead and open up our web page just to make sure that is in fact the case. And it is. Both of our text turned blue. Actually, you know what? Let's actually make this red so that we know for sure that this is working correctly. So let's go ahead and rerun our page. And there you can see, we made the text red in the class selector and we made the text blue in the ID selector. Now, let's go back to our style sheet. Now, let's say we need this type selector to have priority over all the rest of these selectors. That's where we can use the important selector. So we just put an exclamation point here and of course we type in important. And now this type selector, which normally wouldn't take priority over the other specific selectors, will override everything else. So this should get precedence now because we put in what I like to call the nuclear option. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's go open up our page again. And there you can see, we got the green text. Now I do want to point out that you should only use this as a last resort. You should always try to debug your CSS code first rather than using the important rule. Because again, this is sort of seen as the nuclear option. It's, now let's say we go ahead and put the important rule down here. Now we need to ask, well, which one takes precedence? Well, because the ID selector is more specific, this important rule will take precedence over the important rule that we placed in our type selector. So now the color of the text in the second paragraph should be blue. And let's just make sure that's the case. So we'll go ahead and open up our page again. And there you can see that rule, in fact, did take precedence.